Tumayo po ako rito dahil masamang masama po ang loob ko. I really felt insulted. And I think my other colleagues here also felt the same way, Mr. President. And uh, Mr. President, I stand before you and I uh, want to make this recommendation maybe to talk to this media outlet or to summon this media outlet and, and ask them who among us violated our rules? Who among us leaked what transpired in our executive session yesterday? Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> Mr. President, yesterday we had an uh, all senators caucus and we uh, discussed lengthily the budget of the Republic of the Philippines. And uh, just before we entered this August chamber, much to my dismay and much to our dismay, there, were, there was a news report that identified eight or nine senators, and there were names on that list, eight or nine senators who wanted to restore the confidential and intelligence fund of the Vice President and the Department of Education. And I wish to tell the people of the Philippines that there was no votation that happened yesterday with regard to the uh, intelligence fund of the uh, Vice President and the Department of Education. In fact, we had an executive session. And I do not know who of our colleagues who scooped or leaked our conversation to this media outlet. I have been a senator here for more than 10 years. And this is the first time that I encountered a scoop or a leakage. I do not know. I do not want to name names. This is a violation of our rules. And the majority floor leader will expound it later. Mr. President, we tackled, we discussed lengthily for almost two hours, the schedule, etc., of the budget of the, Fil of the Republic of the Philippines. We never touched or we never voted with regard to all the intelligence fund or confidential fund. In fact, we agreed unanimously to remove all the confidential and intelligence fund, not only that of the office of the vice president, including not only that of the Department of, of Education, but all security or civilian agencies na merong confidential and intelligence fund. Mr. President, I will just read. First on the list, Senator Robin Padilla, Christopher Bongo, Ramon Bong Revilla Jr., R Ronald Bato de la Rosa, Jingo Estrada, Lito Lapid, Francis Tolentino, and Cynthia Villar. They are putting us in a bad light. And I condemn this. And I, th and I take offense on this. Nakalagay pa, Senator Pia Caetano is said to be supportive of reinstating Duterte's confidential funds if she can justify the need for them. This is not true. And I hope Senator Pia Cayetano will agree with me. Just for a while, Mr. President, tinahanap pa ni Senator Robin yung mga nakasulat. May inaaro yung Wi-Fi. Ano ba tayo dito? Converge, uh, PLDT, Secretary, at the ICT. Mr. President. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. And if I may quote, Anis Cooper told this media outlet that Senators Sani Angara, Francis Escudero, Rafi Tulfo, Aquilino Pimentel III, and Risa Honteveros are allegedly against the reinstatement of Duterte's secret allocation, which are lodged under the office of the Vice President and the Department of Education. Mali, mali po itong report, Mr. President. And I think uh, Senator Angara must not be included in this list. And among the offices, Duterte's allocation was part of the $1.2 in confidential funds that the House realigned to agencies focused on the West Philippine Sea. Mr. President, tumayo po ako rito dahil masamang masama po ang loob ko. I really felt insulted. And I think my other colleagues here also felt the same way, Mr. President. And uh, Mr. President, I stand before you and I uh, want to make this recommendation Maybe to talk to this media outlet or to summon this media outlet and, and ask them who among us violated our rules? Who among us leaked what transpired in our executive session yesterday? That's all, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Senator Jingoy. Before I recognize the other members, I'd just like to put on record, I too am very disappointed. I have been a senator for six plus six, uh, four plus six, ten, plus two, 12 years, and a member of Congress for nine years. And when we say executive session, we are bound by rules of both the House of Representatives and 
when I was in the House of Representatives and rules of the Senate when I was elected as a senator. Uh, before I recognize the majority floor leader on the repercussions of violating that rules, I would just like to put on record as well that we had a healthy discussion. There was no voting that took place. There was a healthy discussion on how we will treat this uh, budget, particularly on the confidential and intelligence funds. It's not fair to say that one group was for this and one group was for that because in the end, tama po sinabi ni Senator Estrada, we were unanimous in the committee report that the good gentleman from Aurora will be presenting today. We are in full support of his committee report. Now, I am very alarmed. As a matter of fact, that's why we were late. I usually try to start at 3 p.m. We had a meeting with the leadership, Senator Joel Villanueva and Senator uh, Lauren Legarda. We met because of the implications of leakages during executive session. The executive department and very uh, sensitive agencies of government may no longer divulge information to the executive session if they know somebody might leak it. That's why I take this very strongly and I make sure, and I told the majority floor leader that I even called up Senator Nancy Binay because she is the head of the ethics committee, that we have to send a very strong signal that this shall not happen again. So, Majority Floor Leader? Um, uh, yes, Mr. President. Be be before I uh, give my uh, statement, Mr. President, which I, uh, uh, I, I actually agree with your uh, manifestation and the uh, statements made by our uh, dear colleague, Senator Jingoy Estrada, Senator Chis Escudero is uh, seeking the floor to uh, clarify something, Mr. President. Yes, Senator uh, Escudero is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I agree 100% with what Senator Jingoy Estrada said that the account is not accurate and that is not what transpired in executive session. I hope, Senator Jingo, you and I will not be sanctioned for saying part of what happened, as you said, it was the unanimous consensus of the members of the Senate in executive session. Yes. So this is not the, 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 the facts contained in the article, Mr. President, Your Honor, is not a leak. Chismisyon. So there is no leak to speak of really with respect to what truly transpired in the executive um, session, an attempt perhaps to uh, create a story about it, but I confirm the statement of the good Senate President and the Senator Jingoy that it was the unanimous position of the House, what Senate, of the Senate rather, what Senator Angara will be sponsoring today and the other Vice Chairpersons, that was the unanimous position of the Senate and all the members of the Senate. Thank you, Senator Scudero.